We all right, everyone? Right, so let's have a look at example three then. So this is the second bit. So I'll, what I need to do is make sure that it's factors. It's multiples. So I'm going to take out y squared as a factor. So dy by dx will be 2x minus 1 multiplied by y squared. So I've kind of factorised it there. Now I can divide through by y squared. So now I'm going to do the separation of variables. All I'm doing is y on the left, x on the right. So I've got 1 over y squared dy is 2x minus 1 dx. And then I'm going to stick an integration sign in front of it. Just a reminder, 1 over y squared doesn't become a log, because if I differentiate the bottom, it's not a multiple of the top. I expect something with y's in it. So I'm integrating y to the power minus 2. So I get y to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1, which is the same as minus 1 over y. That's going to be x squared minus x plus c. There. Right, so x squared minus x plus c. So it wants a general solution making y the subject. If I imagine a set of brackets around there, I can just cross multiply. So minus 1 over x squared minus x plus c is equal to y. And then I've got a general solution because it's got c's in it and it's got y equals. So that's fine now. Uh, as an example 4, which doesn't match with mine, I know, just try and find that one. So that's 5y minus 20. <sighs> right, so let's have a think about this one. I can't take y out as a factor, but I can take the 5 out, so it's a little bit strange looking. Yeah. If you look, that y greater than 4, that's to keep the y bit the bracket positive. So that's kind of a hint, really, that you want a y minus 4 in the bracket. It's a bit awkward, but there you go. Right, so I want to do the separation of variables. y on the left, x on the right. So 1 over y minus 4 dy is 5 lots of dx with an integration sign in front of it. This time, if I differentiate the bottom, it's 1, which is perfect for the top. So this is log of y minus 4 is equal to 5x plus c. Now I want a general solution making y the subject. So I've got a general solution, but I need to make y the subject. So I'm going to get rid of ln. So I've got y minus 4 is e to the power 5x plus c. Uh, let's have a double check. Uh, okay. Now then, here's a little bit that's a little bit messy. I'm going to do it in a different colour and I'm going to make it, because it's something we do later. But e to the 5x plus c is the same as e to the 5x times by e to the c. Now e is a number, 2 point whatever it is, 7 a raised to the power of c, which is a number. So I'm going to call it a letter. I'm going to call it a because it's a constant. And we do this later on a lot more. So I'll just spill a little bit alien for you at the moment. But that's what I'm doing. I'm saying that the c's are constant, the e's are constant. So they're both constants. So I'm going to call it a, a constant. So y minus 4 is a e to the 5x, so y is a e to the 5x plus 4 there. Huh, what do you reckon about that then? That's quite tricky now. Don't get yourself bogged down in that. We're going to spend quite a bit of time doing those. Uh, we'll be on five minutes. 
So does this next one match? Let's have a look. Uh, oh yeah, 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 I've got one here that matches. Right, so it says find a particular solution. So I'm on Y on the left and X on the right. So I'm going to split this. So I've got two dy dx, so these are my log laws, e laws, power laws. It's e to the x times by e to the minus 2y. Now e to the minus 2y is 1 over e to the 2y. Makes it a little bit easier for the next step. So I've got e to the x divided by e to the 2y. So now I'm going to take my y's over to the left, so I've got 2 e to the 2y dy is e to the x, dx. So you might not be happy with what I've just done. But the e to the minus 2y, I put it as over e to the 2y. So I'm going to take it up on the other side and still positive. Then stick some the integration signs in front of it. Remember, this is proper rock hard. So you know, don't be worried about how hard it is. It's just what we do. So if I integrate e, I have to divide by the bracket by the power differentiated. That's an e to the x plus c. So that's an e to the 2y is e to the x plus c. Now it tells me 1 and 2, doesn't it? So I'm going to sub in now. This is my, my general solution of a form. I'm going to sub in y is 1. So I've got e to the 2 lots of 1 is e to the 2 plus c. Now I've got e to the 2 equals e to the 2 so plus c. If I take that away, it gives me 0 for c. So c actually disappears, and I've got e to the 2y is equal to e to the x. So that means then that 2y is equal to x. So y is equal to a half x. Proper do you have it? Look at that! So mad math, so we get y equals a half x out of the end. There. There you go. How nice, how nice is that? But remember, this stuff, proper look at Right, let's keep going then. Oh, no, look at that. Look, we're done. So you can do that in class. Right, well done. Bye-bye.